Imagine while I was working in MuseScore, I got really, really inspired and I actually wrote so much music that I ran out of space in my score. Here I've written a piece, admittedly not the world's greatest piece of music, it's the same four notes over and over again, but that's fine. Say I wanted to go beyond the boundaries of this 24 bar structure that MuseScore has given me. Well, of course, there are lots of ways of adding more bars into the music and we're gonna go through a few of those here. It might be that you need to add a number of bars at the end, maybe you just need an extra bar somewhere in the piece. We can go through all of those and see how easy it is to do. The easiest way to get new bars into our music is to press Command or Control B. And what that will do is it will add another bar at the end of the music every time I press B. I'm gonna get another empty bar that I can use to extend my composition. But sometimes we're gonna to want to add bars in different ways, maybe in the middle of our composition or lots of bars at once. If you want to add 50 bars, it's gonna get a bit tiring pressing Command B or Control B 50 times to get all of those bars into the composition. So fortunately, the MuseScore developers have thought about this and have given us some extra options. And we can find these options here in the Add menu. You'll see Add Bars is actually the first option that we get in our music and we've already seen one of these commands already this append one bar the control or command b shortcut will just stick one bar on the end append always means sticking something at the end so if we do that i can keep pressing command b and i'll, I'll keep getting bars at the end of my composition but say i wanted to add yeah 50 more bars to the piece it'll take me a long time to do that one bar at a time so instead i can use this thing which is alt shift b um, and that will give me a menu that gives me an option to append 50 bars to my piece. And if I select that, you'll see that the new 50 bars are created instantly and I can fill those up with music. But sometimes we don't want to put bars at the end. Sometimes we need to insert some bars in the middle. Maybe we had a new idea for a section that sits in between two ideas that we've already had. When instead of cutting and copying and kind of trying to create the space that way, actually it's much, much easier to use this insert bars option. And that can be found here in the add menu as well. So if we go to add bars and insert one bar, what will happen is a bar will be inserted before the place that is currently selected. So I've got bar 13 selected at the moment in my music. If I click insert one bar, what will happen is a new bar will be created just before the bar that I've got selected. And that's something to remember. So it's always in that place. It's always behind where we're selected in the music. It allows us to say, this is the thing that I want to move forward. I want to stick one bar in. Uh, before that and we can do the same thing as we did with append we can insert multiple bars in one go all we need to do is come up here to the add menu add bars insert bars and that will give me the option to add 50 bars here and what that will do is give me these 50 new bars right in the middle of my composition and I'm left with my middle section here and then I've also got my new 50 bars that I appended to the end of the composition so you can see how easy it is to sort of change the structure of music. So again, imagine how hard this would be with a piece of paper. If you'd written your piece of music out and then realized that you missed two bars out somewhere because you, your brain kind of went to sleep for a moment, you probably have to start the whole thing again. I'm sure Mozart and Beethoven had waste paper baskets absolutely brimming with mistakes and things that they wanted to change. But here in MuseScore, we've got the power to instantly change things the way we want and cut up our compositions in all kinds of interesting ways.